Core Tenets of Buddhism The Four Noble Truths are All phenomena of life contain discontent, struggle, and disappointment. The condition of all phenomena is samsara. All these struggles, discontentment, etc. are caused by cravings, kinetic energy inertia to be and identify with I, mine, other. Ceasing the cravings removes the cause of struggles, etc. Training the mind's perception of the samsaric condition to cease the cravings is to awaken to the transcendent Buddha mind and to be released from the conditions of samsara while still in the phenomenal form. To support these truths, Shakyamuni taught the absolute impermanence of all phenomena as fundamentally constituting of no thing eternal. The concept of emptiness is to demonstrate the ephemeral nature of all phenomena, not that nothing exists in this way, but that all things are in constant change and have no intrinsic permanence. Even our bodies are constantly manufacturing new cells as others are being discarded so that at about seven years' time, every cell in our bodies is new and has replaced every previous cell of which we are constructed. We ourselves are in constant flux. So this shows that to think of anything as persisting through time as empty of truth or reality and a false perception that leads to attachment and suffering. Therefore, there can be no soul, no permanent aspect or characteristic of any or all phenomena. Shakyamuni changed the interpretation of karma to a process of tendencies and conditions that can, but not necessarily manifest in a phenomenal state, like a tree or the experience of a human, being, or stars and a universe, etc. From karma, potential energy manifest as kinetic energy and accumulating inertia, craving, we manifest in the samsaric conditions, desires and cravings, and thusly suffering. To contemplate deeply on this reality, while in our human state, we can thwart our karmic tendencies from manifesting cravings and instead watch with a detached mind, the process of life. This is the awakening that liberates us from suffering. Not a simple task, it is nonetheless a fundamental state of mind already extant in our experience of life. This is why it is referred to as, awakening, since it needs only to be revealed. A diligent effort of study, contemplation and resolute mind will bring guaranteed results and the rewards of awakening our innate Buddha nature to perceive clearly this precious opportunity of life experience. Principles is a pretty general term and you can dice up the principles of any system in lots of different ways. The most obvious place to start is probably the three jewels, which are the three things that Buddhists seek refuge in, the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. The Buddha is a reference to either the historical Buddha or enlightenment itself. The Dharma is the teachings of Buddhism the Four Noble Truths and the Eightfold Path, which is one of the Four Noble Truths. The Sangha is the community of Buddhists who help support one's spiritual practice. You can look all that up, and should, but being how this is Quora, I'll try and give you the high-level, human answer. Buddhism is about escaping from suffering by realizing the truth about your identity. The experience we're talking about is non-self or emptiness, which is another way of saying there's no constant thing that can be isolated as, you, because there is no separate you. So what is there? The method for realizing that truth is through meditation and moral behavior, which including how to you speak and act. An intellectual understanding of your identity is not enough because you have to experience your true identity. There are different forms of meditation, but they all share the same objective of making the mind less reactive and calmer so reality becomes more still and more vivid. Buddhism is predominantly agnostic, atheistic and unlike other religions in that it's not about a system of beliefs, it's about a practical practice. You aren't forced to believe in anything that doesn't comport with your own experience, in fact, you're encouraged to remain skeptical. Even the stuff about your identity isn't metaphysical or spooky it's all rational and scientific, which is part of the reason science and Buddhism have started courting each other in the last 15 years. There is no principle nor beliefs in Buddhism. Don't take that as my statement, it's stated by the Buddha, I just repeat it. Sticking with either principles or beliefs, you are going out of the middle way, you are going with the heathen's way. The Four Noble Truths are the truth, not the principle nor belief. You might choose to follow it or not, you might choose to believe it or not, it's still the truth in this cyclic world. The Buddha didn't ask you to follow it as principle, nor believe it as a belief. The Buddha just stated it as the truth, something that everyone knows but usually chooses to ignore. 
That's why many people, without meditating through, become perplexed before the fact that the Four Noble Truth means nothing out of this cyclic world. Ultimately, all the words the Shakyamuni Buddha stated in the past are not eternal, nor permanent. They are even less a principle or belief in Buddhism. They are statement, guidelines for certain object, situation and setup. So denying them completely would defile the Buddha and create a karma to be out of the Buddha's way. But taking them as principles or beliefs would also defile the Buddha and create a karma to be forever stuck with this cyclic world. For those who claim and believe, life is suffering, then does a rock suffer given that it is part of life? When you are thirsty, drinking water is it a suffering? Or is it a suffering only when you overdrink, forced to drink when you are not thirsty? For those who claim and believe, mind is the center, then what's the center of the mind? For those who claim and believe, delusion is the disease, then is it still a disease for a rock? Is it still a disease when one doesn't have any delusion? For those who claim and believe, happiness is the benefit, then who benefits whom? For those who claim and believe, strive tirelessly, what is there to strive for in the end?